Whew. So I really want to try something new but I have some kind of resistance to try ideas that are exciting and new and something that would push me out of my comfort zone and I, I kept getting a lot of ideas I've keep, I kept jotting them down but they're, they're just in a big list somewhere that I don't even take a look at anymore so I really wanna change that around this weekend so I'm taking a task to collaborate with some new person who I don't know very well and try to do something new and crazy. I feel life's all about having more diverse experiences, having more memories. But when I think back about how I spent the previous few weekends, there were some productive weeks, there were some weeks that were not so productive, but none of them were actually memorable. So I decided to do something that's very different from what I would generally do. I tried a couple of experiments like this before, but then I stopped doing them. But looking at uh, Yes Theory's videos recently, I thought it was time for me to get back and keep doing more uncomfortable things. I was initially feeling resistant to trying something that will push me out of my comfort zone. So I called my friend Naveen Indala to talk about this. He gave me some valuable suggestions and had given me the push that was needed to set this up. I do not want to spend too much time on this. I already have a busy weekend, lots of work to do. So I guess I'll take about 15 minutes and try to lay out the plan clearly on what I'm going to do forward. I wanted to do this with someone new as that would help me push my limits further. I reached out to Aditi, the founder of Calm Insights and she agreed to do this. And in case you don't know Aditi, Aditi has been through a lot and she has a very inspiring story. I'll share the links in the description if you want to know more. So Aditi and I decided that we were going to talk to some elderly people and get their perspective on life. Extroverts might not uh, see things from my side, but I was really nervous to do this. As we get closer and closer to the time of the event, I think I'm getting more and more tensed. <sighs> Aditi and I jotted down a few questions that we could ask elderly people. We started to go ahead and talk to a few people. I have to concede that Aditi was doing most of the speaking and she was doing a great job empathizing with them. I did pitch in a little here and there but Aditi was doing most of the lifting. We learnt a number of things from this experience and Aditi has documented them well on her blog. I recommend that you read that blog for more information on this. Link to the blog is gonna be in the description. Towards the end, Naveen Indala joined us too and we had a really good time talking about the experience. This weekend was completely worth it and I will try to have more weekends like these. Actually, now that I sit here and think about the experience out loud as I record this video, um, I'm starting to realize that I'm still uncomfortable and nervous about approaching new people by myself. So, last time because Aditi was here, it made things much easier for me. But I'm still uncomfortable. So I've decided that I'm going to redo the experiment now. I'm going to go downstairs and talk to a few elderly people and try to get over my nervousness and fear. I will complete editing the video only after I try this experience by myself alone first. Uh, I see people around. I'm a little nervous to go and talk, but I guess I'm just going to go and talk it's okay even if i black out i'm just gonna go ahead and do it it's been about 15 minutes and i'm still just roaming around too afraid to approach someone and talk too nervous okay but i i can't keep doing this i have to approach someone at some point why not now uh, so i did speak to a couple of people they were very nice and i did have a, a few things that i learned from them and more than the things i learned i think uh, pushing myself is what i learned more and i'm, I'm still a little nervous but uh, i'm happy i pushed myself and uh, that i did this 
and it's very interesting that almost everyone i spoke to were all, all nice people no one no one rejected us when uh, we went and said we want we wanted to talk with them so i think it's really interesting i think i have to do stuff like this more often